I got a few things to say about this video that you might find interesting, but I need to start with the fact that I know there's going to be some jerkwads out there trying to tell me I'm being cruel to the poor innocent little wasps. How do I know this? Because I put a similar video up a couple of years ago where I was killing some fire ants and I got a ton of hate mail from people telling me how cruel I was to those poor little innocent fire ants who were invading my yard and suggested why don't I just use poison to kill them the humane way like everybody else does? Well, I would always reply to those people and say, hey, have you ever actually seen an ant or wasp killed by poison? Does it look like they enjoy it? Uh, no. In, in many cases, it takes them minutes or hours to die. Um, how can that be more humane than the instant death they got from my method? Just because I enjoy it does not necessarily mean that it's more painful to the animals. So you need to think about that. Unfortunately, I would send you to the video in question. However, it was removed by YouTube because too many people complained about it. So I hope the same thing does not happen to this video. For anyone who's actually interested to know what species of wasp that is in the video, it's actually Polistes exclamans. Um, a lot of people would probably call them a yellow jacket, but they're uh, distinctly different from yellow jackets and they don't really have a particularly common name here in Texas, but we do have them all around here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, it's interesting to note, um, the first shot that I took, um, I thought that I had missed the nest, but upon closer inspection, um, I realized that the paintball had gone straight through the nest and splatted on the back of the brick which is pretty interesting uh, when you go back and you watch the uh, video frame by frame. But um, my favorite shot is the last shot I took where I take a cross section of the nest and uh, when played frame by frame, it's actually pretty spectacular, uh, especially if you can identify the wasp that actually ends up getting splatted by the paintball and his remains are left all over the brick wall. <laughs> So uh, yeah, these wasps are still there. I'm probably gonna have to go uh, poison the rest of them just to get rid of them. But uh, it's interesting, it started out, I, I filmed this video over the period of about three days. I went out two or three times a day and shot at them. And uh, one of the reasons I did that is because I had to put the camera uh, pretty close to the nest. And uh, so I couldn't actually retrieve the camera until, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes after I had taken the shot and let them calm down and get back on the nest. I was actually taking the shots at a distance of about 15 feet, um, which is pretty challenging with a pistol. The last shot, however, um, was probably more like five feet away. Um, each time I'd take the shot, of course, I'd have to take off running because believe me, they were not happy about it. But the interesting thing is, you'll notice that uh, in the very beginning, there's about 20 wasps on that nest. And um, as I shoot each time, there are less and less wasps, but I don't kill that many of them. Each shot at most takes out one wasp. In many cases, uh, you know, only took five or six shots. In many cases, uh, no wasps were killed. Um, after studying up a little bit on this particular species, I found out this particular species may, uh, in many cases, have more than one nest around the area. And so when one nest is under attack, some of the wasps may go to a different nest. And uh, now that I knocked half the nest off, there's only about six wasps left on it right now. Now, I've probably killed three or four of them with paintballs, but uh, I think the rest of them went to the uh, satellite nests. By the way, if you're wondering why some of the scenes are very sharp and clear and, and are full widescreen, and then some of the scenes are somewhat condensed and uh, somewhat less detailed, the reason for that um, is because I used my Samsung Galaxy camera to record the video and um, it does have a uh, 120 frames per second mode for recording slow motion stuff. And uh, unfortunately, when you do that, it has to reduce the resolution in order to compensate. And um, so some of the shots that I'm not using slow motion are nice and clear, like this one. And then uh, some of the shots with the uh, high speed uh, is, is, is condensed. And so if you were wondering, that's the reason why. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, my advice to you is if you're going to shoot wasps with a paintball gun, uh, you need to have a clear exit strategy uh, for when you pull that trigger, you need a place to go because they are going to come after you.